Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Financial Tidbits here with me, Royston at NOF. I'm sure that most of you would have heard of the Scythe RoboAdvisor platform before. Today, I'm here to introduce their new creation, termed as Scythe Select, and disclose to you which are the ETFs that are the cheapest and which are those that are the best performing. I will then end off the video with my personal preference. Let's get started. First up, a quick introduction to their Scythe Select platform. Scythe probably has gotten feedback from clients that it will be good to provide some sort of portfolio customization such that individual portfolios can be unique and everyone can have that special feeling. So they developed Scythe Select which allows clients to select from a list of 100 ETFs up to 8 ETFs to form their unique portfolio. Once selected, they can view which are the top 5 stock holdings in their portfolio as well as the historical performance of such a portfolio based on their backtesting. Again, no guarantee that past performances will be a replication of future performances, but it is a good reference point. For investors who are a bit more adventurous and wish to partake in certain macro themes, Scythe Select allows you to do just that. For example, if you're a hardcore fan of KT Woods and wish to partake in a family of actively managed ARK ETFs, you can do so easily by using Scythe Select and screen for themes. Beyond just ARK ETFs, there are other thematic ETFs such as those focused on clean energy, cloud computing, semiconductor, etc., which one can easily identify and incorporate as part of your portfolio. However, do note that there is a higher cost associated with these ETFs, which is one of our key focus in today's video. We will rank the ETFs provided by Scythe Select based on a few factors. First off is the expense ratio, which is typically the cost associated with buying ETFs. It is important to remember that clients using Scythe will need to pay for the platform fee, which is 0.65% for most retail investors, as well as the expense ratio of the ETS, which could be an additional 0.8%, bringing the total annual recurring cost to 1.45%, which is not cheap. As can be seen from the table, the ETF with the lowest expense ratio is the VTI ETF, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, which is the largest fund in terms of AUM in this lease. And because of its scale, and for the fact that this is a passive fund, its expense ratio is just 0.03%. This means that if you have got a portfolio of $10,000 vested in this ETF, the annual cost you have got to pay is just $3 every year. I think most of us can afford that. On the other extreme of this list, with the highest expense ratio is the ARK family of ETFs. As they are actively managed, the annual cost of buying the ARK W ETF which is the most expensive in this lease is 0.79%, which is paying $79 every year if you have got 10,000 vested. Add-on size platform fee of 0.65% and the annual fee could be close to $150. Okay if ARK ETFs can double in its value every year, but as you can see, every dog has its day and ARK ETFs are no longer the top dogs in 2021 with the ARK W for example underperforming the S&P 500 by 16% on a year-to-date basis. There are many ETFs in this list that is pretty affordable in terms of expense ratio. I go one step further and screen for those ETFs with an expense ratio less than 0.3% and rank as 5 stars by Morningstar. This is for those who believe that Morningstar rating is representative of future performances, which I'm not saying it is, but a reference for those who wish to buy into a relatively low-cost ETF, which is also ranked well by an established rating agency. There are just four ETFs that met this criteria as can be seen from the table. Are they truly worthy of your investments? I'm no rating guru here, but none of these ETFs have managed to outperform the S&P 500 on a 5 years or 10 years basis. This brings us to the next screening criteria. Which are these ETFs that have consistently outperformed the S&P 500 and are worthy of further investigation? There are a couple of ETFs in this list that caught my attention, given their consistent outperformance. They are the Van Eck Vector Semiconductor ETF, ticker SMH, the Technology Select Sector 
SPDR fund, ticker XLK, and the iShares US Medical Devices ETF, ticker IHI. These three ETFs are the only ETFs that have consistently outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years, 5 years, 3 years, 2 years, 1 year, and year-to-date basis. As you can see, many of the ETFs in this list have significantly underperformed the S&P 500 over the past decade. Hence, one will be better off just buying an index fund such as the VTI ETF, which we highlighted earlier as having the lowest expense ratio. Some of the ETF with a short track record that has performed rather credibly and consistently outperformed the S&P 500 since their IPO are the Communication Services Select Sector SPDR Fund, ticker XLC, the iShares ESG Aware MSCI USA ETF, ticker ESGU, and Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF, ticker BOTZ. Let's wrap up the video with my personal favorites. Again, this is based on my risk tolerance and is not suitable for everyone, but I will select the SMH ETF, the CIBR ETF, the LIT ETF, and finally the PHO ETF. These ETFs have expense ratios that range between 0.35% to 0.75%. As you can see, these ETFs are not cheap and they are pretty risky products. That might witness substantial drawdown if there's going to be a major market correction hit. Hence, not suitable for everyone especially those who are more risk adverse. My strategy is to dollar cost average a small amount of my capital into these four mega teams, which have historically demonstrated their resilience and ability to outperform the S&P 500, as well as my belief that these teams will continue to have a huge runway in the coming decade. Again, not a recommendation to buy or sell any of these ETFs in this list, if you enjoyed the video today on the Scythe Select product and wish to open an account with Scythe, you can check out the link in my description below. I also attached an Excel sheet with key information on these ETFs for download and easier referencing for my viewers. Do hit the like button and subscribe to the NUF YouTube channel. This is Royston, signing out.